Hi guys, Anna is here and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about DNA and RNA structure in order to get top grades in your biology A level. So please grab a piece of paper so you can draw with me and without further ado, let's get into it. So, why do we bother studying about DNA? Well, DNA is an essential molecule that is required to pass hereditary information. We find it in the cell. So if we specifically look at the eukaryotic cell, we'll find it in the nucleus. Remember guys, in prokaryotic cells, the DNA will be just floating in the cytoplasm. Okay, so what is DNA? You need to know it as a biological polymer that is made out of many nucleotides. However, guys, I want to take a moment to remind you what a polymer is, because it's a common question in many exams. So polymer is many monomers joined together. And then going back to DNA, then we can bring that back and say DNA is a biological polymer made of many nucleotides joined together, right? Not randomly floating in cytoplasm, but they are bound together. Okay, guys, now pause the video very briefly and please draw a structure of nucleotide for me. Many students do struggle to draw a structure of nucleotide, but it's not so difficult and you guys absolutely must remember that. So basically what you can see, I've drawn a circle which is going to represent a phosphate group. I've drawn a pentagon which represents a deoxyribose sugar and then a rectangular that represents nitrogenous base. And then in DNA, there are four different types of nitrogenous bases. We have adenine A, thymine T, cytosine C, and guanine G. And voila, guys, this is your structure of a nucleotide. And as a reminder, all of this structure is, acts as a monomer of DNA. Okay, so just make sure you learn this all by heart. Okay, so it's quite important to understand how many nucleotides do join together up in DNA. DNA will have thousands of nucleotides, but obviously we can't draw them all. So just as an example, we're going to draw three together. So if you need to pause, please do pause the video and draw this exact diagram. But basically, this shows to you how we can build one DNA strand. And the way the nucleotides are joined together, you can see I've just highlighted them with lilac color, is that there is a bond formed between deoxyribose sugar and the phosphate group. And this bond, we call it a phosphodiester bond, and they're formed by condensation reactions. Remember guys, condensation reaction means that as soon as we join molecules together, they will release water. And what happens is you can see that basically the phosphates and deoxyribose sugars are involved in this reaction. And what we do, we'll build a phosphodiester backbone, which will protect the DNA nitrogenous bases on the inside. And what I want you to do now, guys, is to draw a second strand, which will be a mirror image of the DNA. Okay, so pause if you have to, and then let's get back into it. So guys, remember that DNA has four nitrogenous bases, A, T, C, and G. And A always binds T, and C always binds G. And we call this complementary base pairing. There is a second class of bonds you need to know when learning about the structure of the DNA. So there will be two bonds formed between adenine and thymine, and three bonds formed formed between cytosine and guanine. And these bonds are called hydrogen bonds. The hydrogen bonds will break during the DNA replication and transcription, and we'll discuss this in the next video. But this is everything you need to know for DNA structure. Easy, guys. Learn this by heart. Okay, so what we're going to move on to now is to discuss and compare this DNA structure to the structure of RNA, which is another example of the nucleic acid, but in this case, it's going to be single-stranded. And for your A-level, you need to know three types of RNAs. You need to know messenger RNA, which is produced in transcription. You need to know about transfer RNA, abbreviated tRNA, used in translation. And then you need to know about ribosomal RNA, which is produced, uh, produced in the nucleolus, and it's used to make up ribosomes. So again, you need to know a nucleotide for RNA structure. It's exactly the same shape as DNA, but it will have slight differences. So we still have a phosphate group. However, the sugars you can see, guys, it's still 
pentagon, but it pentose sugar, but it's ribose sugar. And then the nitrogenous bases are going to be slightly different. We have adenine, but instead of thymine, we have uracil. And then cytosine and guanine are still going to be there. And this is the overall structure of the nucleotide, but specifically for RNA. So, you might be asked, and it's a very common question in exam, compare DNA versus RNA. You guys, to get the full marks, you need to tell me both sides of the story. So compare DNA and then tell me also about RNA. So the first point would be DNA has thymine, whereas uracil, sorry, whereas uric, RNA has uracil. Then for DNA has deoxyribose sugar, whereas RNA has ribose sugar. And then DNA is double-stranded, whereas RNA is single-stranded. And that's it, guys. That would be three marks in a bank of your exam questions. And that's everything you need to know for DNA and RNA structure for your A-level courses. Thank you for watching. Press the thumbs up and let me know what other topics you want to do in the next video. Goodbye.